And I want to start by saying that this may appear to be just any old announcement where there's some funding coming from a higher level or higher levels of government. Uh, but in fact, this is anything uh, but a routine announcement. This is a major, major investment uh, in our city. We are delighted and we have applied and have been watching very carefully the phase one and phase two funding programs and monitoring uh, how the city of Windsor can tap into those programs to help, help leverage uh, priority projects for us and help leverage funding that's available to get those priority projects done. And it's worth noting that uh, the funding here includes 50% uh, funding from the federal government, 25% funding uh, from the provincial government, and the rest provided by the municipality. And the order of magnitude of the projects that we're talking about here today uh, are just above $12 million uh, for the City of Windsor. Here in Ontario, just over $2 billion in federal funding is available through the Public Transit Infrastructure Fund and the Clean Water and Wastewater Fund. The federal government is providing over $6.1 million for 13 projects that will improve water infrastructure here in Windsor. These, these projects um, were all community-led, so no one told us that these are the projects we need to do. They were all submitted, uh, approved by City Council, uh, submitted to us by uh, Mark Winterton, our City Engineer, and the Administrative Team, uh, looking at the priorities and how we could best spend the dollar to have the biggest impact. And how many of these are in the area that had a big flood last September? Uh, so we're doing, uh, some of the work is studies uh, that um, relates to like the St. Paul pumping station, uh, the Pontiac pumping station, those are exactly uh, within those areas. We're also doing some uh, um, master drainage work, which is also included in that. Um, the Janice area that uh, the mayor mentioned, uh, that's within the, the ward. Obviously, it's not quite as simple as just going where they were chasing the rain. It's something that um, if it had that same rain had happened in South Windsor or West Windsor, uh, we would have had a similar type of circumstance. So we're trying to hit where the need is the, the most. Well, this is, this is huge in that it leverages uh, 75% uh, uh, dollars. So we were able to do uh, you know, that much more than what we would otherwise be able to do. We would only be able to basically do about to, you know, two and a half, three million dollars worth of work instead we're going to do over 12 million dollars. So it's as uh, simple as that in terms of the uh, immediate benefit, both uh, from a water wastewater point of view, but also the economic benefit to the, to the jobs that it creates for the, the, the work that we've done.